Um, the next thing is now, so we talked about how to find the rational zeros. Oh, I didn't write the, Somebody wrote those down, right? I'll go back up there. Yeah. All right, so now let's go and determine um, the, po the number of possible real um, positive and negative zeros. So the first thing I do, this is what we call Descartes' rule of signs, is to use the positive. So this would be Descartes' rule of signs. And what Descartes' rule of signs tells us is the number of positive and negative real zeros. So the first thing we do is the positive test. And to do the positive, what you do is you're going to take the sign of each monomial and bring it down. You don't have to bring it down, but I like to do it. So that's x cubed. That's a positive x cubed. That's a negative x, 7x squared. And that's a positive 36. Right? Does everybody see what I did? I just brought down the signs. Don't care about what the, what the monomials are. I just care about what the signs are. And what we notice is we look at how many times it alternates. In this case, it alternates twice. So therefore, we have two real positive zeros or 0. Two real positive zeros or 0. Now you say, or 0. Why do you have or 0? Descartes' rule of signs, what it states is the number of times that your polynomial <coughs> alternate, alternates between signs, that's the number of real zeros minus an even number. So an even number is 2. 4 is an even number, right? So if you have two possibilities, you just subtract an even number, which would be 2, to get to 0. So you have two possibilities. It's either 0 or it's 2, OK? And we'll learn how to de determine what actually it's going to be. Then we go and look at the negative. Now the negative are a little bit more fun. Because negative, here we just did f of x. For the negative, we do f of negative x. So with your guys' history of functions, you remember, once you plug in, you change the input value, you've got to change the input value of the function, right? Yeah. So that becomes negative x cubed minus 7 negative x squared plus 36. So any negative number, it doesn't matter if it's a variable or a negative decimal, any negative number raised to an odd power is still going to be negative. Any negative number raised to an even power is going to turn positive. Positive times negative is negative 7x squared. OK? Then again, I bring down the signs. Negative, negative, positive. And now you guys can see there's one alternating sign. So there is one real negative 0. One real negative 0. Now you say, well, what about minus the even number? Well, let's, let's subtract the smallest even number, which is 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Is it possible to count negative, negative zeros or negative number of zeros? Your zeros, that's the x-intercepts. Is it possible to have a negative amount of x-intercepts? No, right? You can't have a negative amount of the x-intercepts. You can have a negative value, but you can't have a negative amount of them. So you keep on subtracting 2 or an even number until you get to 0. Or if you can't subtract 2, then you just leave it as 1. Okay? So that's your Descartes rule of signs. All right. So now.